This is Tanetta, your relationship coach and speak your truth, where I help educate, inspire, and empower you to speak your truth and be who you are within your relationship. And this pillow talk is talk tonight is talking about masturbation. And of course, what is masturbation? Masturbation is self-pleasuring. Well, it's self-pleasuring. It's touching and rubbing parts of your body for sexual pleasure, such as the penis, the scrotum, the clitoris, the vulva, the breast, and of course, the anus. And like I said, masturbation can be done alone. And since we're talking about couples, of course, mutually as well. We all know that masturbation is a healthy and normal way for people to explore their bodies, to find out what feels good sexually and how to achieve an orgasm, y'all. And let me go ahead and let y'all know some of the benefits, of course, of masturbation as well. One, it can release sexual tension and allow people to explore their sexuality by themselves, especially if you're doing it by yourself, y'all. Number two, is a form of sexual activity that's available to all genders, no matter what type um, and whether you have a partner or not. Some include masturbation when abstaining from sex as well. I know some folks say abstinence, you're not supposed to masturbate or that kind of thing, but I'm one that believes in masturbation, of course, during, the abstinence, during your abstinence period, I guess I put it that way. Like I said, some folks may, some folks, I, 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 I preach that, that you need to, I guess I put it that way. Number three, it helps people become familiar with their own sexual responses, which can help them better communicate their needs and their wants to, with their sex partners. And some of the general health benefits, y'all. Masturbation, number one, helps with relaxation, promotes better sleep, promotes release of brain opioid like tra neuro neurotransmitters called endorphins, which of course causes all over feel good, um, I guess feelings of good, overall good feelings of physical and mental well-being. Number four, it reduces stress. And number five, it enhances self-esteem and body image. Just to let you all know. Now I know I talk about taboo conversations and taboo topics a lot and speak your truth. And I know masturbation was one of those things that of course folks had always talked about in a taboo way or not talked about it at all and shun those kids or those people or those adults who may have had questions about it. I don't know about y'all, but I know when I was in grade school, we had our little one hour of sexual education, masturbation was not even mentioned. It was more about abstinence and more about, of course, um, how to protect yourself, birth control, that kind of thing, knowing about your period, or knowing about puberty and that kind of thing, hair growth and all that. It talked nothing about pleasure and masturbation. So I definitely, like I said, I know that this is a taboo topic because we didn't get a lot of that in school at all. None of us, well, I didn't get it in school. I'm sure a lot of you probably didn't, didn't get it in school either. I know, and I know a lot of our parents are may have not gotten that same information, but they, they may know about masturbation, but they're probably scared to, of course, have this conversation with you or when you were growing up, that kind of thing as well. So leaving you as, as an adult trying to figure out things and trying to figure out your body and your pleasures and all those types of things, and now you're having to learn all those processes and, and what masturbation is and how it takes effect and all that kind of stuff and how it can create orgasms and all those kind of things. So like I said, that's definitely the reason why I'm here to, of course, help, edu like I said, educate, inspire, and empower you to, of course, be who you are, be, be the sexual being that you are. And, of course, masturbation is definitely a part of that. Like I said, some of those taboos that people talked about um, as far as be, when you masturbate, you, masturbation causes infertility. It causes blindness, mental health issues, sexual perversion, and reduced sexual function. Like I said, masturbation causes none of those things. Yes, there are folks, some, some folks who, of course, get addicted to, to certain things. But of course, masturbation usually isn't one of those things that folks, of course, get addicted to. They may, of course, spend more time doing it, I guess I put it that way, but usually with your partner, that kind of thing, you all can do it mutually. And I'll get into some of that shortly as well. So the stats. This comes from um, our former Attorney General, Jocelyn Elders, MD. She says, we know that 80% of men, I mean of women, and 90% of men masturbate. <coughs> and I always say the rest lie. And like I said, that, that quote came from jo Jocelyn Elders. And she's actually the reason that we have Masturbation Month in May. That was actually created in honor of her. So that was an awesome thing, y'all. And like I said, when it comes to couples and masturbation, like I said, solo play, playing by yourself, masturbating by yourself, is the best way to connect with your own body and to find out what feels good to you and how you like the orgasm. Like I said, in turn, then you can talk to your partner about the ways you want to be touched on, the way you want to orgasm when they put their fingers in their mouth or their toy or whatever it is down there. So like I said, that's definitely how you find out how you want to orgasm and how you want to masturbate. You have to do it first, of course, in order to learn your own body and then, of course, tell somebody else. Inviting your partner in is a shared experience in sex, I mean, self-exploration, self-care, 
and let tell and lets you emotionally connect in a whole new way. Masturbation, of course, mutual masturbation can, of course, help you both connect in a definitely a, a, a new way, y'all. It's the hottest form of sex ed, and letting your partner know, I mean, letting your partner watch helps to teach them. Like I said before, those spots that, of course, increase your pleasure for your next session, and of course, for your powerful orgasms as well. And I know a lot of times we assume that our partners don't masturbate because they don't tell us or we don't catch them or see them masturbating. But just know that a lot of, that, that a, a lot of your, the partners that you have and, the, and your partner, of course, may, of course, masturbate. And I'm sure you may at some point as well, whether you're in the tub with a shower head or whatever you're doing, like I said, or, or with your toy or, or men may have like um, different sex toys and that kind of thing as well. Like I said, our partners definitely do. And a, a lot of us definitely masturbate, even though we don't talk about it. That's why this particular course is going on. It's talking about masturbation and talk, letting, letting you all know how, how, imper, how important it is that we have that conversation when it comes to our partners when it's talking about masturbation, y'all. And like I said, people do masturbate when they're in committed relationships, but many couples are very uncomfortable discussing this topic of masturbation. And like I said, a lot of things that we, of course, have in our upbringing about shunning sex and being shameful about sex and our bodies and our touches and that kind of thing, like I said, that's a big reason why a lot of folks are scared to talk about masturbation within their relationship. And I just, I know I just talked about being afraid. Some are afraid to find out the answer to the question. And others are afraid to tell their partners that they masturbate as well. There's nothing wrong with, of course, communicating with your partner that you, of course, love to masturbate, you love to touch yourself, you bring yourself to orgasm when they're not there or, or whatever the case is. I'm sure they may know in the back of their mind that you may masturbate. But like I said, with that communication and us not wanting to, of course, talk, talk, talk about it, being, sh I guess, feeling, that, feeling, feeling shameful, feeling embarrassed about it, that kind of thing. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, y'all. Like I said before, masturbation is normal and it is healthy for us to do. So keep that in mind. And then, of course, insecurity plays a big part in these situations when, when we're talking about masturbation and talking to our partners about it and feeling comfortable at least talking about it with our partners. Like I said, those insecurities can definitely come up when it comes to, like I said before, that shame, that guilt, and just not knowing how to have that conversation because we're, we're just afraid to have it. And like I said, at some point, if you're wanting to know more about your partner or how they feel, I mean, how you, how, you can please, how you can please them in the bedroom, like I said, you definitely have to have this pillow talk conversation when it comes to the masturbation. We don't want to leave anything out with our pillow talk, y'all. We have to definitely make sure that we're, of course, talking about these things. I know it's going to be something very scary for, some, for a lot of us to, of course, talk about. And, of course, like I said, just definitely make sure that you, of course, practice in the mirror if you need to. Talk to yourself in the mirror about uh, masturbation or looking at masturbation, le learning more about it, that kind of thing as well. Because some of the stuff I'm, I'm not going to teach you here, but like I said, definitely learning more about it and how to, of course, talk to your partner. I'll get into some of that shortly, actually. But like I said, we definitely have to start having those conversations. We want to know how to, how to best please our partner, and our partner want to know how to best please us. And like I said, learning how to, um, of course, bring ourselves to orgasm and let our partners know how to, which way that is. Like I said, that is definitely a mind-blowing experience. And of course, you all can definitely, of course, create some other fun things in foreplay with that as well. So keep that in mind, y'all. And how to, and to, I was just talking about how to have that conversation with your partner about masturbation. So I have a few things here that, of course, I'm going to go over with you. Let me see how many I have, y'all. Um, there is, looks like five things here to go over with you. Just, of course, some ways that you can, of course, talk to your partner about masturbation, how you can bring it up and that kind of thing as well. Well, actually, one way I do want to tell you before we even get into this, how to bring it up. Sometimes if you're afraid to bring it up with your partner when you're looking face to face and that kind of thing, sometimes you can, of course, see stuff in movies, see stuff on TV that somebody may be look, looking like they're, they're masturbating or playing with their playing with themselves, that kind of thing. You can always bring it up then. And of course, they ask, ask your honey, say, hey, honey, what's going on? Have you ever masturbated? How much do you masturbate? Can I watch you masturbate? That kind of thing. Like I said, definitely get into it, y'all. And like I said, just start that conversation with different things that you may see. But let me go ahead and get into how to have that conversation about masturbation with your partner. The first one is, of course, to remain calm, especially if you walk in on your partner or you have a feeling that they do masturbate, it's okay. Just remember that it's normal and it's healthy for anybody to masturbate. Like I said, you definitely want to make sure that you, of course, letting your partner know, of course, can you, can you, can, well, asking your partner, can you, of course, join, can you look at them and, I guess, while they're masturbating, I guess, like a voyeur, I guess you can add that to your foreplay. Like I said, it definitely can be some great foreplay as well. But like I said, definitely remain calm 
if you walk in on your partner or if you have a feeling that, that they do masturbate, there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, that's our insecurities. If we're feeling that they shouldn't masturbate, it should just only be our, our bodies that they want to touch and, or, and have an orgasm with. A lot of folks, of course, can, of course, have mutual sex. That's fine. But sometimes they want to feel extra pleasure as well. And masturbation is how they do that, too. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with them masturbating at all, having a session by themselves in the tub or in the bed or when you're going to work or whatever it is. It's okay, y'all. It's definitely okay. Don't jump to conclusions that they prefer masturbation over you. Like I said, that's definitely an insecurity that we have. Just because somebody masturbates does not mean that they prefer the masturbation over you and having sex with you or, or anything along those lines, y'all. Let your partner know you, you like to discuss masturbation with them. Also, before the talk, find out why you're having um, the insecurities and think that your partner may be dissatisfied with you in the bedroom. Like I said, by walking in on them or knowing that they masturbate or they said that they masturbated yesterday, whatever it was, like I said, you definitely have to find out where your own insecurities come from and why you're feeling, feeling this way towards your partner, like they'd rather have the masturbation over you. Is, that's, that's usually not the case. But like I said, we, we can definitely have all types of things that run through our head and make us feel otherwise. But just definitely think about that on, on your own, y'all. Are you feeling concerned that your partner is no longer um, interested in having sex with you? Like I said, that's where the insecurity comes from. Make sure that you're talking about that. Um, right, I guess writing that in your journal, um, thinking about it in your head, that kind of thing, trying to figure out where those insecurities come from. And just keep in mind that sometimes masturbation could be an indication of a problem when you two talk and discuss about it like I said your partner hopefully will be open and honest with you to let you know if they're masturbating because there's an issue in the relationship a lot of times it's not a lot of times they just want to feel the extra pleasure and have their orgasm because they, they know how to zip it on in like one one or two minutes and have that, that powerful orgasm and sometimes our partners of course take a little while to warm up to our bodies and they don't know how to how to make it feel pleasurable every time like we do whenever we masturbate so so like I said, definitely have that discussion with your partner just in case, like I said, there, there could be something going on while your partner's masturbating and not telling you and that kind of thing. There, it could be a, a small percentage, but like I said, definitely make sure that you all are talking about that when you are having this conversation about masturbation. Number two, keep an open mind. Don't jump to conclusions, y'all. Remember, a conversation about, about masturbation can bring up shame and embarrassment in your partner. Like I said before, a lot of us did not get that education about masturbation at all growing up. And like I said, going into this conversation, keep, like I said, keep an open mind. And of course, don't just jump to conclusions that they're trying to have pleasure without you and all these kind of things. Just keep in mind that they may not respond right away because they may be shameful about masturbation as well. The same way you may have been or may have been in the past or currently are as well. So keep that in mind. Don't come across blaming, demeaning, or being disrespectful to your partner. We never want to do that, y'all, at all. Whenever we're having these pleasure conversations, talking about masturbation, or any kind of sexual taboo topic, we definitely want to make sure that we're being respectful and, of course, not blaming and shaming our partner, making sure that we're definitely, I'm going to say that four or five times, being not being disrespectful, not being demeaning, and, of course, like I said, being respectful of our partners whenever we're having these kind of sexual taboo conversations. Don't just jump to conclusions, y'all. Number three, use I statements that speak to your own feelings instead of blaming the other. This goes along with, with, with the last one, not shaming, blaming, demeaning the partner, your partner. Like I said, use I statements. And some examples are, if you feel deprived of sexual connection, express that to your partner. For example, I have two ways down here. Honey, I feel at times you'd rather masturbate, with, um, masturbate than have sex with me. Or, honey, I feel left out when you prefer masturbation over sex. Like I said, definitely use those I statements and don't blame, shame, or you just want to um, have, a, um, I guess, orgasm without me and you don't love me anymore. Don't even go there, y'all. Like I said, don't blame or shame. Use these I statements. Again, ex uh, for, again, for those two examples. The first one, honey, I feel at times you'd rather masturbate than have sex with me. The second one was, again, honey, I feel left out when you prefer masturbation over sex. Number four. Give your partner time to reflect. They may have wanted to have this conversation with you, but are scared to bring it up themselves. So keep that in mind, y'all. Give them time to, of course, I mean, give them time to, of course, respond to you. Not just force the answer and do you masturbate? Do you do this? Do you play with yourself? Give them time to, of course, answer, y'all. They may be uncomfortable answering you. Allow them to reflect on what you have shared 
and their feelings in response to yours. Y'all don't, don't, don't just pressure them into an answer. This could also be the perfect moment and the opportunity where you all discuss mutual expectations about sex and masturbation, meaning that you all can, of course, when you're having this, this pleasure conversation about masturbation, making sure that you are talking about this is the perfect time for you all to, of course, talk about how you all want to have, um, I mean, what you all want the masturbation to mean in your relationship and what you want the sex to mean, that kind of thing, and kind of get on the same page, y'all. It takes a conversation. I know it's a scary conversation, but it definitely just takes a conversation, y'all. Number five, use this pleasure conversation to get closer. Mutual masturbation or watching your partner masturbate are great ways to break the sexual boredom and to create another way to add sexiness to your foreplay. So like I said, definitely use this as, like I said, this conversation as a way to get closer. And we all know that mutual masturbation, I'm hoping that you all have done that so far. If not, then use this video. Once you get done with this video, talk to your partner about it. And like I said, watch each other masturbate. Like I said, that's the sexiest thing in the world, y'all. Definitely do so. And like I said, I'm having mutual masturbation definitely increases the intimacy and connection between y'all. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with your partner because they like to masturbate or whatever it is. If you all want to do it in the shower, in the shower head, and show your partner how it feels so they can do it to you as well, that's, like I said, that's a great addition to your bedroom to, to, to break all that boredom and to add that spark back. And, of course, like I said, have some mind-blowing foreplay. Just keep that in mind, y'all. And, again, masturbation is awesome. It's awesome because pleasure, um, pleasures, um, pleasure is a sure thing because you each get what you you each get to do what you already know feels good to yourselves, y'all. So like I said, that's why masturbation is awesome. You also get to release your inner voyeurs and exhibitionist um, kinky side, I guess I feel, I guess I put it that way, at the same time if you're doing the mutual masturbation. It's the best sex ed that you can get because your lover learns how to give you pleasure and you, of course, learn, I guess, learn how to give them pleasure as well. If you want to, I didn't mention this before, but I'm, in, I'm talking to y'all about this right now. If you want to introduce sex toys into the, um, into the bedroom, into that masturbation conversation, this is a great way to start that conversation, y'all. When you're looking at this video and anything else that you're watching, that's a movie or anything that's talking about masturbation or sex toys, that's definitely a good time to, of course, interject that conversation and to let your partner know that you want to have some sex toys and all those kind of things well into the bedroom to help aid in that masturbation. And like I said, it's totally versatile. It can be used to fulfill other fantasies like role playing, threesomes, and group sex. Like I said, masturbation can, of course, carry you a long way, y'all, in your relationship. Just keep that in mind. Like I said before, masturbation is, is definitely normal. It's healthy. There's no reason why you cannot have masturbate. Like I said, definitely, if you want to do it alone or do it with your partner, that choice is yours. But just keep in mind that if you catch your partner masturbating or whatever it is, that it is okay. A lot of folks, damn near everybody on this earth masturbates, y'all. There is nothing wrong with that. So just keep that in mind. The main thing is, of course, having that conversation, having that pleasure conversation around masturbation so that you all can, of course, feel comfortable with each other. And like I said, so, so that you can, you can show your partner how you like to come to orgasm when you're using your hands or when you're use, using your sex toy or that kind of thing. Like I said, that's definitely great to, of course, share with your partner to let them know how you want to be pleasured and how you want to come to orgasm and be pleased. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. And if you don't want to have penetrative sex that day, like I said, masturbation is definitely a great segue into some awesome ass foreplay, y'all. So go ahead and get your masturbation on, y'all. Again, this is Tanetta, your relationship coach at Speak Your Truth. I want to say thank you for tuning into this video. Like I said, this is a pillow talk conversation about that pleasure, about masturbation, y'all. And like I said, communication is always key. No matter what the topic is, this topic has to has is is masturbation. But like I said, any other topic that you're having about sex, like I said, definitely making sure that you keep make knowing and understand that our communication is key when it comes to any of these things. We have to be able to, of course, understand our partner, know what our, know what our partner's needs and wants and likes are. Like I said, when it comes to the sex, when it comes to the orgasms, and definitely since this is masturbation, when it comes to the masturbation, y'all. So with that, I want to say thank you all for tuning in. Again, I'm Tanetta, your relationship coach at Speak Your Truth, where I help educate, inspire, and empower you to speak your truth and be who you are within your relationships. See y'all in the next video.